Welcome to final round coverage of the PCS Open presented by Innova. We are in Vestnes, Norway at the Overas Disc Golf Park. It's going to be a fantastic final round. Christian Tatar in the lead, but many players on the hunt. A beautiful swing and complete follow through. <laughs> Almost hitting the basket, Ida. Hedy Lina putting from deep for par. Hedy's putting all weekend has been so impressive. It's like every time she's getting ready to release, I'm starting to count it in. To get a stroke back on Kristen. Yes. She found her mark. It took till the third hole, and now I think Missy is dialed in. What a line drive from Tatar. Released on the inside, but also making it through that smaller gap. Evelina has a birdie putt. Sarah Hokum trying to get through the gates of Valhalla. First birdie of the day for Evelina. Yeah, Kristen's drive was tracking too low the entire way, and there's that OB pond that's right short of that rock wall. I believe she's found it and will have her putt for par from about 14 meters. Katrina Allen putting for a birdie here. She's on the short side of the gate. <coughs> oh, and what a putt from Katrina. Bring it up, bringing her back to even. Tatar to save par from the drop zone. That's uh, in for the birdie. Missy Gannon also threw the triple mando on the left-hand side. She may have a little bit of obstruction, but she'll be at circle's edge. And a wide miss from Tatar. Putting for par from about 75 feet. On the seventh, Lorenzen. Hello! Another throw in. We call those field aces sometimes, but look at this gathering the love and the congratulations from her competitors. Get back within one stroke. She does it in the heart. That was a Missy Gannon putt that we are used to seeing. Haiti Lina for birdie. So smooth. I am just really falling for Hades' putting stroke. It just stays so consistent, and she holds that follow-through. A chance to tie the lead with a good approach. Big money Missy. And that was a big moment. She's done it. We hope she stays on this mark and she has joined Kristen at the top of the podium. Well, after some misses early in the round, she has hit three in a row from outside of 15 feet. Buzz in the basket is Evelina. This is looking great too. Forehand for Tatar. And that's hooking up perfectly and a great drive from all four players on this lead card. Putting for birdie from 38 feet. In the heart, Sarah has found herself at two down on the round. Solid putting.
Oh, and that looked like it just fell out of her hand. Evelina. There it is. Nice and high and in the chains. Could be perfect for Missy. Excellent shot, very close to where we just saw Lorenzen moments ago for the birdie look in circle one. Haiti Lina on 11. Looking for her fourth birdie of the round. She got it. Right side and it drops in. Missy has joined Kristen again for the second time on top of the podium, on the top. Having a, dr a perfect drive here is very important. And she's in, and she's very close for her birdie. Tatar. Puts it in. That is what we're used to seeing from Kristen Tatar. Back in front for the moment. Evelina from the hazard. And oh, that's casual. What I love to see Charlie answering to it, although losing a stroke. That was a very, very important putt for her to make. To keep pace with Tatar. Excellent shape on this. And she's going to be just outside of circle one. Extend this lead by two strokes. And nails it. Ida is in bounds on the island at the circle's edge for her birdie putt. This is the event. Guitar for birdie. You bet. So smooth, Charlie. And that sky view showed us how long she held the follow through all the way into the basket. Ness birdied 12 all three rounds. Wow. A very powerful attack by Missy Gannon. An eagle opportunity here for Missy Gannon to pick up a stroke. Yes. And the fire is back in Missy's eyes and behind her putt. Gentle S turnover for Nessa. Such a smooth, smooth stroke. Nails it. Risk reward decision making. And she has Caddy, Tom, her husband right there to talk it out with her. No doubt she made the decision she was comfortable with. Has this for par to make it a three stroke lead. A mistake by Kristen. And that disc is rolling down the hill. Tatar coming back for bogey. Misses it. My goodness. She'll be two strokes back if she makes this. She's done it. Three holes to play. Salonen back in the mix. Three shot swing with Tatar. Missy Gannon bogeys. But Tatar going to double bogey. Now just a one-shot lead over Gannon and two strokes over Salonen. Tatar trying to bounce back after the double bogey. Oh boy, this is a high. beauty. It is beautiful, Charlie, you called it. I was worried about that height and the potential ground action funneling to OB. She's in a difficult position. She's got to make something happen. A beautiful 
Beautiful pull. That is exactly what you wanted to pull out of the bag. Absolutely. Clutch shot from Missy Gannon to Tar to maintain the lead. Got it. So she will have a one-shot lead over Gannon going into 17. Directly at the basket, just a little shy. Bit wide. Oh, Charlie, she pulled back her, her arm right away, almost immediately out of her hand. She'll have one more chance on 18. So Missy, big decision here. If she wanted to risk laying it up and hope that Kristen makes a mistake, or if she goes big to try to drive the green. She's going for it. Oh, it needs some height. She's asking for it to get up. A pretty stress-free approach for Kristen Tatar. She puts it up high enough to stick it in the middle of the fairway. And a great shot there for Missy Gannon. She's in the bullseye. Going long and oh, nearly going out of bounds. And Missy Gannon battled hard. She tried to find herself taking this title, but Kristen Tatar does it again. Champion OFPO PCS Open 2023, Kristen Tatar! Eight wins in 13 starts for Kristen Tatar in another remarkable season. And Annika has been the owner of this fantastic trophy over the last three seasons, and Tatar will take the shield and sword under her command. Wow, I'm so happy it's over. I feel like I say it every time, but this time I mean it. <laughs> because it was so intense, and it was not my better days. Mm -hmm. I feel like Missy was playing so much better, like her drives were a lot better than mine today, mm -hmm. let's be honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, um, but I hung in there somehow. I just kept motivating myself to mm -hmm. not give up until the round is over, and um, it worked. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the string of bogeys that you had on five, six, and seven. I honestly can't remember the last time you've thrown OB three holes in a row. What are you thinking during? What are you thinking when you lose four strokes in that little stretch right there? It's tough because. Um, you often get into that mindset that you have to like make up for the bogeys now, that you have to get birdies and mm -hmm. that like puts extra pressure on yourself. Mm -hmm. At least that's what happened to me, I feel like. Um, really stupid bogey on hole seven. I should have just laid up. I know I can even like try to make a birdie from the layup, mm -hmm. um, but I was just, ooh, <laughs> somebody's saying hello. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it was just tough to, get things going again. You're the champion at the first Disc Golf Pro Tour Elite Series event in Europe next week. We have the European Open. What are you looking forward to most? Um, I guess just working through that frustration so that it, it doesn't like consume me anymore. Even if things don't go my way, that I can still, ab I'm able to like keep a cool head and calm and, and I feel yeah, I still have a little bit of time to work through it. Um, overall, I, I'm happy to have won this event, and uh, I must have done something right. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly did. You guys heard it directly from your champion, Kristen Tatar, PCS Open 2023. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you. Thank you.